Yo, what's up, YouTube? For you guys that don't already know, I'm currently joining the military and I chose to enlist in the Army. And in today's video, I'm going to describe how I have and how I'm currently preparing myself to join the military. Let's get started. So before I even joined the military, I went into the recruiting office. I already had an idea on what the military was like. I grew up a military child my whole life, so I was already affiliated with it. But just to even get a better idea, I went on YouTube and I started researching how the military worked and how the whole recruiting process worked, which is a great place to start if you decide to join the military. probably notice you see that the weight's not very high when I work out and the reason is I'm not focused on weight to impress people that's one tip I can give you guys is to focus on what weight works for you if you're starting out and be safe and careful you can grow over time if you take your time and use the correct weight versus trying to show off and you hurt yourself and you just end up ending your process and just taking more time to grow like I said just focus on yourself Next thing I focused on was the ASVAB. When you join the military, you have to take a test called the ASVAB, and it's basically to see your aptitude to learn things, and it determines what kind of jobs you can get when you join. So there's two choices. You can either take it in high school, or you can take it at MEPS after you talk to the recruiter. I didn't take it in high school, and I took it at MEPS. So before I left, I would sit down and really focus on what I was doing. I bought the ASVAB practice book from a bookstore. I think it was Barnes & Nobles at the mall like $20 and I would sit there and study every night for an hour and take the quiz at the end of each section. I studied every section even if I already knew a lot about it I would go over for review. I even took practice tests online and just made sure I really worked hard up till even the last day when I was going up to MEPS to take the test I was still practicing in the van and it I mean I could have done well without it but it helped my score even higher so that I can get the best job I want because the job you get in the military you're stuck with it for, for the next four or six years whatever you pick so I made sure I got what I wanted to be able to get. Now it's time to take a shower and get ready and head over to the recruiter, which leads to my next thing that I did. My next tip was keep in contact with your recruiter. My, during my whole enlistment process, I would every other week message my recruiter, call them or text them to see you know if anything new popped up. Just you know, keep in contact, make sure you know they didn't forget about me because they have plenty of people who are trying to join, so they have their hands full. So an easy way that you can make the process go smoother is if you keep in contact, make sure you know you're getting your updates and keep doing what you do. Hey guys, so I'm back from the recruiter. Uh, I got everything squared away, even got some cool little shirt and stuff like that. And uh, I'm ready to go, I'm excited. All right guys, the last thing I did and I'm still currently doing is staying in shape. Uh, when I started the process for the military, I realized that I'm gonna be doing a lot of physical activity. So I started training, lifting weights, running and stuff like that. Currently, my workout plan is 
three days of cardio, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday and Thursday are weightlifting days because that's kind of how the schedule is with the military. They do running Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then calisthenics Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, Mondays are VO2 max training. It increases your lung capacity, your ability to recover and stuff like that. And then Wednesdays are just regular like two mile runs, long runs, swimming. And then Friday's VO2 max training again. And then Tuesday and Thursday is full body workouts with abs at the end so I can max out my sit-ups. And that's uh, pretty much it, guys, for what I've done. Uh, thanks for watching the video today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time.